In this video, I'm going to explain how I created a computer program that would divide up the bills for my, the row house that I'm living in. So after I graduated from college, I moved into a row house in Washington, D.C., and there were people moving in and out of the house. You had five rooms in the house, and I, to cut my expenses, I was uh, splitting my room. I had a roommate, and people were always moving in and out of the house, and we had these bills that would come in, and we as the tenants had to take care of the bills. The, the landlord didn't take care of the bills. And so eventually, after enough people moved out, I took the responsibility to handle pretty much all of the bills. And I had this problem where people were moving in and out, but they only wanted to pay for the bills that corresponded to the time that they were there. So for example, if somebody moved in on the seventh of a month, they didn't want to pay for that portion of the month where they weren't yet living in the house. And likewise, if they moved out on the 22nd of the month, they didn't want to pay for those seven or eight days where they weren't living there anymore. And there were all these emails going back and forth and a lot of you know yelling and shouting. And what I ended up doing was I would, I, I knew a little bit of math, and so I realized that I could actually figure out how to divide up the bills based on the number of days that each person was living in the, the room by calculating the number of person days. So for example, if there were five people in the house during a month, and they all were there for the whole month, and it was 30 days in the month, then there were five people times 30 days, each person was in there for 30 days, and so there were 150 person days for that month. And so what you would do is you would calculate the total number of person days and then you would take the bill and divide it by the number of person days to figure out the amount of money that needed to be paid for every person day. So for each day that a person was in the for any person was in the house, that they needed to pay a certain amount. And usually it was some small amount like 20 cents or something like that. And so that was great. You know, a lot of the other people in the house didn't know how to do that calculation. The problem was that it was very time consuming. And so after a while, it was kind of driving me crazy. And so I ended up just procrastinating and doing the bills every six months. And it, you know, it, it divided the bills fairly, but it was, first of all, it was a nightmare because in six months, tons of people were moving in and out. And so the, the calculations were just very, very complicated at the end of those six months. And then another problem was that people wanted the bills more often. They wanted to have the bill every month so that they knew how much money they had you know, in their bank account. If, you know, is that $400 in their bank account, is that theirs or is that money that they owed to me for the bills? And so just a couple, it was a month or two ago, it finally came to the point where somebody was complaining over and over and over again that they, they needed to have the bills done every month in order to handle their their uh, expenses and I said okay well that's that's pretty reasonable and so I thought well why don't I try to make a computer program that'll do the calculations for me and so that's what I did and so now I am going to show you on uh, on the my screen I have this is the document where I was calculating all the bills and so you can see the date range these were all the people that i needed to handle for the past six months from april 18th to september 30th there are 12 people there and then there I, I had to keep track of when people were moving in out and i had to keep track of how much people owed me the last time i sent out an email and peep and the payments that i'd gotten from people since then and then all of the miscellaneous expenses like i i bought toilet paper for the house and all these things and there were tons and tons of bills, you know, pep, the electricity and the gas and the uh, internet, all of these things I had to handle per month for the, so I had to figure out how, who was living in the house for the given period of a bill. And then I had to figure out the co total number of person days for that bill. And it was just a big, a big uh, headache. And um, so what was I going to say? Um, another thing that I wanted to mention was that the bills weren't coming on the, all at the same time. You would have one bill that would be from the 6th of the first month up until the 8th of the next month, and you'd have another bill that was from, I don't know, always on the same day, always on the, same day the 22nd or something like that. And so there was a lot of variation, not only with the people, but also with the bills. And so I went and I, and I, went and I uh, started a Python program, and I had done a little bit of programming of things like this for 
the, the, the they call these the uh, USACO pu puzzles. They're the United States of America Computing Olympiad puzzles, and they have puzzles that are kind of similar to what I was trying to do here. And so, um, slowly, you know, I started out very slowly, but I gradually built up this pro computer program until you can see it here. It's quite a few lines of code. I'm sure it, there's probably a way to do it that would require fewer lines of code, but as it is, you know, it works. And so this is all of the code that was necessary to make this um, project. And you can see that I've tracked the, the different people and I have the, uh, you know, all this stuff. I'll, I'll start another video that explains how this stuff works. But basically, I, I comp created this computer program that would divide all of these things. And now I'm going to try to, uh, well, after you run the code, I'll move it over here. When you run the code, it generates this long report where you can see that it, each of these paragraphs is the bill for that um, for that month. So you have the PEPCO, that's the uh, the electricity for that month. That was the total amount of the bill. And then you have the total number of person days, and then you have the uh, uh, amount per person day, and then you have the different people that were in the house at that time and the number of days that they were in the house during that time. And then you multiply the number of days they were in the house by the amount per person day and you get the amount that they owe for that for that period and so this does the, it does this for all of the different bills you can see there were a lot of bills that I needed to calculate and then at the very end at the very end it shows you the oh geez this thing's being annoying at the very end it it shows the total amount of all of the bills and then it shows the total amount that each person owes for all of those bills that were listed. And so it's a very convenient report because it gives me the final tally that I need. You know, it's this, this final tally is really the only thing that I need. But it also generates a report that anybody can look at. If any of the people in the house are not sure if I did the calculation correctly, they can look at this report and see and step by step exactly how it works and if they want to double check any given step they can do it very easily and so it's a very convenient computer program and I can run it in five minutes every month and I get I do this thing in five minutes that otherwise would have taken I don't know an hour or more because I kind of procrastinate about it. it's kind of painful that these doing this process is very you have to concentrate in order to not make any mistakes and so it, it was very concentration taxing and so it's much be much better to have the computer program doing it for me. And so I may, I'll probably make another video where, in which I explain exactly how the computer program works. But I just want to make this video about what I did. And uh, I, think it's, I think it's pretty cool. I, I was very happy when I made this work. So that is that.